Hello GA students, this is Mr. Moresco here with our video time for activities and we'll get to that in just a few minutes. I have a few quick announcements and things I want you to be sure um, you're aware of. Um, this will be our third video of the week. Hopefully you've had an opportunity to check out my eating healthy snacks video for the week and my storybook video. All of those videos are being sent to your teachers and they are putting them on their Google page. Um, they are also on my Facebook page. Also look on my Facebook page for additional activities um, that you can be doing at home. Second, next Thursday and Friday we are doing um, handouts um, at the school. Thursday it's going to be from 3 to 7 and Friday 9 to 1. Second and third graders, I'm going to be handing out your bike helmets during that time. So all second and third graders Obviously, when your parents come to pick up your stuff, we will have a table for you to grab the bike helmets. Along with those bike helmets, we are going to give you very important directions on how to make sure that your helmet fits properly. Because if you don't have your helmet on properly, and it's loose, and it moves back and forth, if you were to get in an accident, it wouldn't protect your head like it should. So, please be sure that when you get those helmets next week, that you um, make sure that they are adjusted properly to fit your head. Thirdly, um, many of you have been asking about the Kids Heart Challenge. Thank you gifts. Um, those are in a warehouse in Chicago and cannot be delivered until we get clearance from them to be delivered and we can have someone at the school to accept those boxes. So most likely, as of right now, um, you will not be getting those thank you gifts until we return to school in the fall. If something changes and we can work something out, we'll do so. All right, so let's get started with our activities. Your first assignment that I have for you to do next week is I want you to go with an adult, brother or sister, or some family members, and I want you to take a 20-minute walk. And when you're on your 20-minute walk, I want you to look for a few things for me. First thing on your walk, I want you to find three different animals. Maybe a dog, a cat, a bear, an alligator. I don't know what you can find, but see if you can find three different animals on your walk. Second thing I want you to look for, I want you to look at the flowers. It's a beautiful time. My wife and I and daughter went to Holland yesterday up to the tulips, and we saw on the tulips came out what beautiful colors they have, the flowers. So as you're on your walk, I want you to look at the different colored flowers and I want you to see if you can find a purple flower, a red flower, and a ye yellow flower, flower. Third thing I want you to look for, with your family or whoever you walk with, who can find the biggest leaf? So I want you to look at the trees, look at the leaves that have been falling down, who can find the biggest leaf? And the fourth thing I want you to find, I want you to see who can find a rock that's flat. Who can find the flattest rock. That will make your walk a little more interesting and challenging. Obviously there are a lot of other things. Katie, what? Is that okay? can you fix this? The wind has just blown over my tripod, so we're just making an adjustment. I'm going to have to leave this on the cement. All right, I'm back. Oh, we've got to love this distance learning, don't we? Um, so see if you can do uh, find those four things on your walk. Obviously there are other things that you can do next week. You know, go outside, play some basketball, kick a soccer ball, um, go for a bike ride with your new helmet. Um, just make sure that you're being physically active. Hopefully it will be a little bit warmer next week. There it goes again. All right. I guess it's still windy out here today. All right, so now that we're done, we're gonna go through some activities. And we're gonna go through some activities that begin with letters in the alphabet. And today we're gonna go through the letters A through L. And I have my daughter here. Can you go find mom and see if she can hold this stand for us, please? Technical difficulty. Um, as we're doing this, let's do a couple of warm ups. Let's start with your head. Move your head around. Okay. All right. Maybe a few jumping jacks. 
Remember that when you're doing your jumping jacks, you're moving your arms above your head, legs in and out. Good. Let's do some arm circles, going forwards and backwards, loosening up our upper body, do some trunk twists, twisting our body, good, touching our toes, keeping our legs straight. So my wife is here and she's going to hold our tripod and phone so it doesn't fall over again. All right, uh, Miss Turner gave me a little uh, handout, um, ABCs of movement. So I'm going to have my daughter moving in different ways with the different letters in the alphabet. Obviously the first letter in the alphabet is the letter A. Can you make the letter A in the air? Do that again. The letter A. And Katie, using the letter A, can you move like an alligator? Moving like an A alligator, we're going to just move our hands up and down. B. With the letter B, we're going to do the bear crawl. We did these in gym earlier this year. I don't know if we could see that, Mrs. Morasco. Okay, we're down at a low level. We're walking. Oh, that's a crab walk, Katie. Oh. A bear walk. Okay, that's awkward. The bear walk. walk. The bear. It's like this. Literally the entire time I was down, you couldn't say anything. <laughs> All right. Bear walk. The next letter, the letter C. Make the letter C with your hand. This time, Kitty, would you show me the crab walk? Notice that when we do the crab walk, we're trying to keep our body off the ground, walking like a crab. D for duck walk. Can you make the letter D? Walk like a duck. Quack, 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 quack. Make it fun if you make that animal sound too. Quack, 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 quack. Hands are on the hips. My toes are pointing out. And I'm moving like a duck. Ooh. E for elephant. Can you make the letter E for elephant? Now with the elephant, you're going to put your hands together and swing it back and forth. Can you walk like an elephant? Thank you, Caitlin. The letter F. Can you make the letter F? And show me if you can move like a frog. Getting down on your hands and feet. Jumping like a frog. Take a minute here now. Put your hand on your heart. Is your heart beating faster? Older students, put your hands right up here on your neck. Feel your heartbeat. Your heartbeat should be racing, going a little bit faster. Remember, each one of these activities do between maybe 20 and 30 seconds each. The letter G. We've done this one a lot. Make the letter G. Show me how you make that letter G. And this one is galloping like a horse. Keeping one foot forward. You're going to gallop like a horse. H. Can you make the letter H with your hand? And on this one, we're going to hop on one foot. Notice that she's keeping one foot up in the air, and she's hopping on one foot. Challenge yourself. How long can you hop on that one foot? Try it on your favorite foot. Try it on your opposite foot. Now this one I didn't know how to make, so my daughter actually showed me how to make this one. Can you make the letter I? Make the letter I. Can you pretend that you are ice skating? Notice how she's going back and forth. Kind of like she's zigzagging. Whoo! By the way, you never want to see Mr. Morasco on ice skates. Not a pretty sight. The letter J. J for jump. Can you show me how far you can jump? Notice that she bends her knees, swings her arms back, and jump. Let's do it again, Katie. Let's bend our knees, 
swing our arms back and jump. Woo! Now let's see what's after J. Should be K. I went the L. Kangaroo jump. Let's make our letter K and jump like a kangaroo. Notice how she's got her little arms out in front, jumping like the K. And our last letter, the letter L. Can you find a line and walk on that line going heel to toe? Well, that's what I've got for this week, boys and girls. Um, see different ways that you can do activities at home. I like it when you share things with me. Uh, many of you have been sending me um, Facebook pictures and posts and videos of different things that you've been doing at home. I'll see you Thursday and Friday for second and third graders to get their bike helmets. And be sure to check out those other two videos that I have given your teachers. Have a great week. Thank you.